Hey guys, back again. I'm here with Mr. Matt Payne. Hey everybody. Thanks How for coming. Are you? Thanks for having me. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna discuss a little Photocon stuff real quick. Um, so Matt, tell me, tell me what's going on. What's going on with you? Ah, uh, there's, there's a lot going on with me, Eric. Um, as some of you know, uh, I'm a photographer, uh, a travel photographer, and have been fortunate to travel to many places all around the world, shooting photographs of interesting people and places and things. Uh, and in the last year, in addition, I'm a, I'm a native Oklahoman, a Sigma brand ambassador. Um, and in the last about uh, 18 months, uh, I started a business here in Oklahoma called Prairie Surf Media. Mm -hmm. uh, we're a, uh, we've taken over the old Cox Convention Center in downtown Oklahoma City, and we've converted it in, into a movie studio. So I, uh, I'm now in this sort of uh, multimedia business, I guess, as it were. It's cool. Yeah, it's That's exciting. Cool. How'd that come about? Um, you know, um, as I said, I'm a photographer, but I also, um, I, I, I spent the last couple of years making, the last five years really, making documentary films um, about different aspects of Oklahoma. Um, I got to make a, a little film about Pahuska, Oklahoma, where Martin Scorsese's shooting killers of the flower moon, nice. and the pioneer woman has her enterprise. Uh, I got to do one on the Paseo District, one on the Oklahoma City Thunder, and then I just won a, an Emmy for a, a, a documentary about storm chasers. And in making these little films, um, what I figured out was there was a lot of enthusiasm around movies in mm -hmm. Oklahoma with Dead Center Film Festival. Uh, our, our, our colleges and our universities have, have great film programs. Um, we had an incentive, and so my business partner, Rachel Cannon, and I sort of sat down and we were like, how can we accelerate the film industry here. How can we grow it? Mm -hmm. And uh, we sat down to have coffee, and by the end of it, we were like, "Well, let's let's turn Oklahoma City into Atlanta and open a movie studio." And and that's kind of what's happened. That's so, awesome. So, so cool. I'm doing that right now. Um, concurrently, still thinking about all kinds of cool creative content that we can make, and um, hope to get back out to traveling as the the pandemic settles. Yeah, hopefully. Right. And I love how you uh, kind of gloss over the fact you won an Emmy. Congratulations, ah, by the way. Thank you, thank yeah. you. That's cool. Okay, and so, and, and you've done uh, Photocon, I don't know, three or four different times. Yep. Um, tell me about your experience with Photocon. Tell me what you're looking forward to in October. So what I love about Photocon is, first, I love teaching. So um, I love connecting to people, and I love uh the enthusiasm that comes with people that are learning new things. Sure. I, I, I take so much from it. So I, I and I love connecting with the the camera community, the photography community. Like I, I love I love film and I love travel, but but I love travel photography the most. And right. uh, what I'm really looking forward to um, is sharing some of my my travel stories and some of the photos that I've taken and kind of trying to give insight to how the photos came to be. So, you know, the, one of the differences between travel photography and every other kind of photography, you know, well, certainly studio photography, but, but there's no planning to it at all. It's all totally right. spontaneous and you're not even going to shoot an event uh, in a sort of photojournalistic way. You're just going somewhere and uh, recording life recording life yeah um and that's just a different uh it's a it's a different craft um and so th what i've found works best is um i think people learn best anecdotally and so in sort of talking about how i came to discover some of the moments that i'll share um i, I think will really illuminate uh how people can take better photos and then if they want to learn about how to light things better and that kind of thing they can uh, check out some of the other speakers right and, and again uh, you you hit the nail on the head you, you you go over how more than anything not just oh here's yep. my photo and here's where sure. I was so on and so forth so will will this um, presentation have a specific theme to it so I, I've always covered uh, it, it'll be travel photography but the way mm -hmm. that I'm thinking about this one mm -hmm. um, given kind of what we're doing at Prairie Surf our goal at Prairie Surf media is to bring uh, major motion pictures to Oklahoma. So um, we're in the process of talking to the Apples of the world and Netflix and Amazon and Hulu and these big streamers because we want them to come film in Oklahoma. Um, so we we created a facility where they could do that, kind of a manufacturing plant. But right. really the thing that makes Oklahoma such a marketable place is its natural beauty. You know, when I first moved to Oklahoma, I moved from California because I spent 15 years working as a as a travel uh, a screenplay writer. Right. So that's my background. Mm -hmm. um, I moved to Oklahoma really um, 
not, you know, I, I had to challenge myself to find the natural beauty. And so what I did was I, I started going to first local state parks and then thinking about sunsets and weather patterns and migratory patterns. Mm -hmm. And then, and then next thing you know, my circle became wider and wider. And, and what I realized was that in traveling around Oklahoma, mm -hmm. that Oklahoma really has enough backdrops to serve as really any kind of world you wanted to create in this cinematic universe. So we took that kind of, I, I took that idea and the photos that we use mm -hmm. uh, and all of our marketing material that we share mm -hmm. with every production company in LA, that, that's the material that we present to encourage filmmakers to come here and, and, and really make the most of our, our, our natural beauty. And so what I, I hope to do is to walk people through kind of what my process was in, in discovering that beauty and how, how to challenge yourself to take scenes in Oklahoma and that might at a, at a glance at high noon on a clear day not be beautiful but how do we shoot it in right. the most beautiful way how do right. we, you know and so so that's what i'm going to share and that's perfect and 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 photocon has, has always prided itself on being less about um here's a uh, here's a slideshow it's more about the how yes. and, and what's what's great about that is is that someone can literally leave your class Go down the road and and perform exactly what, what you try to teach them. Yeah, that's what I that's what I hope. You know, I, I hope that you know in me sharing, say it's a picture of, uh, I don't know, Little Sahara. You know, um, that in in sharing my photography from that place and talking about how I sort of approached it as mm -hmm. a photographer, that someone who has a very different concept of photography say than me goes, I didn't know that. Right that place existed, now I'm going to go there and shoot it in my own way. And even if you did, even if you did, you didn't realize that there was such, such a creative outlet That's right. so close by. Yep. Cool. Okay. Well, it sounds great. Um, you, you always give great presentations, one of the highlights of, of the show every year. Um, Thank you. So what, um, what are you looking forward to as far as Photocon 2021? By the way, um, it's, it's photoconokc.com, and if you don't already have tickets, you can get on there and register, and there's, there's uh, lodging on-site, and you can also be uh, nearby, like Seminole, We Woke, or, or Shawnee. But um, what are you looking forward to most? In October, what I'm looking forward to is I'm I'm looking forward to uh, interfacing with other photographers. I learn the most in uh, in really networking with other photographers. And when you mentioned that it was going to be at St. Crispin's, one of the things I like about that, the travel writer in me for sure, is that when you take people out of their uh, familiar element and put them someplace else, uh, you tend to build a sense of community. I always, one thing I love about Bedford's is the sense of camera community. I've been right. buying my cameras and lenses and everything else here for years and you come in and I know so many photographers the idea that all those people will be in one place that's the first thing the second is the vendors you know to be able to interface not just with you mm -hmm. and your staff but to be able to sit down with people from Canon and Nikon Sigma where I am a I'm a brand ambassador mm -hmm. um, to be able to ask them specific questions try their products feel their products touch it, it, it it's a really really good opportunity um, to challenge yourself uh, to find that next lens that'll take your photography to the next level. So that part's really fun for me. Um, and as I've shifted, you know, kind of from not just photography into videography, what I'm, right. I'm interested in looking at is it, it, are those elements of cameras and lenses. Right. How, how do these pieces of equipment in it work uh, from a video perspective? Mm -hmm. So I'm looking very forward to that. And um, Obviously, spending time with your staff. Oh yeah. You know, I mean, of course. golly. Yeah. Who doesn't like the, the best staff? The absolute best. Um, but no, I'm looking very forward to it. Uh, I know it's going to be a, a, a special one. So. Cool. Yeah, I appreciate it. We love having you. Um, we're excited to have it. Um, again, it's October 29th and 30th at St. Crispin's. It's www.photocon.com. Thank you, Matt Payne. Thank you. Appreciate you. Excited. Thank See you, you later. Yes.